Hey, hey, hey. We are live. Hey, everyone. Tarianne Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in. Join me for our energy focus for the week. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the winds of change. Come on in. Join me. We're going to start off with a prayer of protection with this storm, this hurricane of Irma. So many people are being affected. It's sweeping around, stirring up so much. So join us. Come on in. We're going to do a little meditation of protection. We're going to look at the energy for the week, do some cards, and focus. All right. Come on in. Share. I'm going to share to my group. Let me see if I can find it on here. And if you would, do the same too. I know there are a lot of people out there that are looking for ways to ground their energy. And that would be super great if you could share with them. All right, share once. Here we go. Come on in. It's Sunday night. We've got a lot of anticipation in the air right now. I know here in Birmingham, they've started closing schools for tomorrow. Down in Florida, there's a lot of things going on. My goodness, so much. So if you would, just hit the share button, share it out. Come on in. Let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up. I would love to have you guys come over. Join me tonight. I'm doing so much better. Last share and then we'll be good. Last share. Let's see. Big reach video with Brad Powell. Give him a call out too. All right. I've got mine shared. So come on in. A little bit of anxiety out in the world right now with all of this storm brewing up from Florida coming in. Let me know you're here. Hey, Millie, I see you just joined in. Let's take some time right now to really ground our energy, and we're going to do a little prayer of protection around all of us as this storm just starts to sweep up. What is this all about, right? All of this energy coming forward. The winds are stirring it up. Mother Earth is speaking to us, right? What is she saying? What is going on? Yay, Millie, thanks for joining me. Come on in, push a share, I'm a couple minutes early. Wanted just to get this going and have some time really to put some blessing, some energy out there and see if we can kind of keep ourselves protected, calm the energy, ground ourselves. A lot of craziness going on, a lot of fear. I know wind does that, it stirs it up, especially here in the south, all those big old trees, right? We have lots of them in our yard, those old pines. Yeah, so they can stir up a lot of fear, which... When does that, right? Yesterday I was up at the medicine wheel and I kept hearing like, sounds like water. And it was the wind. I wasn't feeling it yet. And by the afternoon I was feeling it, but I heard it first. So there's a lot of energy out there. A lot of stirring up. What we persist, resist, right? What we resist, persist. Let's say it the right way, right? It's time that we make these changes, that we make these shifts in our energy and the way we're using our energy and also in our own spirit. We need to make some changes going on, and Mother Earth is stirring it all up, right? If we don't do it, Mother Earth is going to show us the way to do it. That's what I believe. So come on in. Join me. Let's take a few moments as it comes around at 7 o'clock and center our energy for the week. Pull it in. Going to have a busy week. We all are going to be kind of changing of plans, all this last-minute energy of school closings and rearranging, shuffling the energy. So let's just take some time right now to ground our energy. So wherever you are, if you can, take a nice deep inhale, a little, a little sage, and let's just ground our energy, clearing the space, sending this out to all of you, whatever time it is that you're watching. Take a nice deep inhale, and just feel your energy centering, coming into alignment grounding with mother earth let it just open up feel the feet connecting to the earth feel yourself centering that energy the wind has a way of stirring us up making us feel ungrounded making us feel un unstable right that's what wind does it blows us around all right so ground your own feet if you have any dravite all right dravite is black tourmaline this is a good thing to hold on to right now it connects us with the earth and that's what we need Right? We need to be flexible. We need to be able to sway and to move with the wind, but stay grounded in our energy, especially as we move through these next couple of days, right? A lot of fear out there with weather. It can stir it up, especially when you get wind and water mixing. All right? 
So take a nice deep inhale, feel the feet grounding, and let's just take a moment and send some energy out. If you practice Reiki, take a moment, come into your Reiki energy, feel it aligning, and using that long distance symbol that we're taught, the Hanjin Seisho Nen, let's use that and send it out all around wherever you are, so let this spread. And see your family, see your home, seeing it being protected. Imagine a white light just surrounding wherever you are. And let it surround those that you love as well. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, ground those spaces for you. Ground your house. Imagine it having its own grounding cord right now. Grounding the people you love. And just seeing a nice protective white energy. Send the energy out there. Let that distant symbol be around all of us right now. All for the highest good. All right, maybe we lose power. That's not the worst thing, right? Let's keep these structures strong. Let's keep people from being hurt. And now just imagining that energy of that hurricane. See it in your own mind's eye. See that big swirl and imagine it dissipating. Let the energy slow it down and let it dissipate out. Taking away all that force. Sending that power of protection around you. Feel your energy centering. And just see all those that you love being grounded in this energy. See them being safe. See them being okay. And let this energy of this hurricane, this energy we've named Irma, let it dissipate. Send it back off into the waters, up into the heaven. Let it dissipate. Change the energy into a more useful energy for all of us. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Let that energy dissipate as you feel your own self staying grounded. Very important. Feel the grounding cord under your feet. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Perhaps you live in an area with big old tall trees. See those trees. See the roots really grounding. See the tree swaying with movement, not snapping. Prayer of protection for all those around. May we all be safe. May we be sound. May the storm move away. May we learn what it is that we need to learn. May we make the changes that the wind and the air and the water and the ground all are bringing us. Let us call in divine spirit, our guides, our masters, our teachers. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us right now through these next few days. Let us be strong. Let us care about one another. Let us feel that connection from our heart and reach out. Let us stay safe. We honor the elements of the earth, the fire, the air, the wind, and the water. All of these elements are at extremes right now. Really reflecting back what we need to see. Feel that energy coming around you, keeping you safe and sound. Feel yourself connected with the earth. As we release this energy, let it release the force of Irma. May all be protected. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just sending that breath all the way down as you stay grounded for this week. That is exactly what this energy is about for this week. Staying grounded and noticing where those changes are for you, right? Really important. What is it about you that you can change right now? The earth is begging us to, humanity is begging us to really make these changes. Notice what's going on around you. Notice where your spirit is. Notice in the mornings when you wake up that light right before sunrise as it comes up. Notice that brilliance that is coming through now. These are ways to make that shift, to be quiet and still and listen within. Let this be your guide for this week. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, coming back. Yeah. So, yep, lots of changes going on. So I hope all, hope all of you are staying safe, getting yourself prepared, making sure you have water and food and all the things that you need as we wait it out. Be smart, right? So the energy for this week is all about that change. We've been through the eclipses. We just had that full moon. And we're kind of in that place where things are starting to move forward. 
All right, maybe you've noticed it with your own projects and that's exactly where we are. So any of those changes that you have been wanting or waiting or wishing, now is the time to start pushing them through a little bit more. Offering the gratitude for where you are, for acknowledging this, and then start to take those steps forward. That's exactly where we are where we are right now. We're coming to the end of summer. All right, summer's the time when we look at all that growth. As we transition into fall, fall is about harvest and gratitude. So find that crossover of energy for you. Where are you standing right here at the end of summer? What has grown for you? What have you noticed? What have you been working on? And what can you now take to that next level? Because that's what this shift is all about, rising up into that next level. All right, for some that may be rising up and understanding more about the third dimension, really, that's kind of waking state. We rise up into fourth dimension. That's our guides and angels and energy work. We go up into the fifth dimension. That's in the Akashic Records, the spiritual, your own spiritual guidance, right? Your soul's work. So raise that vibration for you on a daily basis. All right, if you don't know how, let me know. Give me a, give me a yes if you do and give me a no if you don't. And I can help you with that for sure. So come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle where we talk about more things like this. So I'm going to draw from the Wild Unknown. Yes, they've been really good lately. Really offer us some lots of insight in the shadow and the light. Both parts of our lives. Exactly what we need right now. All right. So these are the cards that we're going to use for this week's guidance. As we see what gets turned over and offer us some guidance. All right. Going to do a four card. So interesting, the first card that comes up is all about change because it's about letting go of what isn't working, all right? It's the nine, it's the eight of cups, all right? So this, see all the broken cups, all right? So this is kind of that emotional body. It's over, it's done. Whatever you're holding on to, especially from the heart that's bringing that extra emotion, it's time to let it go. It's time to move on and let it go. Really important, exactly what we're talking about. All right, so check in with the emotional body and see what energy is left over for you that you can release, let it go, get out of your own way, move through that mountain for you, all right? And the way that we're going to do it, we did a four-card spread. So the next three cards are ways in which we can help anchor that card in and really work with it as we move through this week. So this is always an interesting card, all right? And this one in particular depth, too. It's the four cups. Look at that rat right on top of the cups. All right, so there's something in here that's not quite satisfying you right now in your life and your emotions, which is really the key to what it is you need to let go. So where are you a little dissatisfied for that? You kind of have to rat it out, all right? That's exactly what this card is indicating. What is it? that has gotten you a little less than happy with who you are, a little less in that emotional energy. And that's exactly what it is that is feeding this energy of the Nine of Cups to let it go. So what is it for you? There's something. There's something in that emotional body for you to let go right now. The next card that comes up, it's kind of interesting because it's right below and it's almost the exact opposite. It's the Three of Pentacles. So what does this mean? It means as you let this go, it gets me excited. It means as you let this go, there is success underneath. So not everything is upset in your life, right? There is this three of pentacle energy, which is our money, which is our work, our craft, our skills, right? That is building for you, all right? So as you let go of the emotional baggage that's been weighing you down, especially this last month, you will find that you have some success. So you have been building some of your skills. And this is a great way to encourage you to let that go for you. All right, how do we then go about letting this go? The other way that we're doing is with the Hermit card. All right, I love the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about going within, going within yourself, right? Now, society doesn't always like give us that opportunity to do that. So we really have to make sure that we do slow down that we take that time because as you go within and as you pull into your own self, see that light? See that light that shines right there on top of you, right? He's in his own home. He's in his own area. Let that light shine as you let that shit go, all right? Sorry for the language, but come on. It's time, folks. Look at the weather. Look at the energy. Look at our political system. I stand for you. I stand for this spirit to come forward. Do your work. Live your purpose. It's time that we raise a vibration. If you're listening to this, I know you know what I'm talking about with vibration and energy, living your purpose. So I am helping you to understand that as well. All right, give me a thumbs up if this is what it is that you want to do. Move the stuff out and stand in your energy nice and strong. The Hermit card will help you do that as well. All right, so the emphasis of all this energy that was on the bottom of the card, I love it, love it, love it, is the Eight of Pentacles. 
This is all about that creative energy of building your craft, all about it. So as you let all that other stuff go, let the emotional baggage, rat out what isn't working, take a step back, build your, your craft, know that you've started something that's really good for you, go within and be still because this is the card that's going to really pull you forward. All right, it's that spider web, that creative energy, building the skills, look at all those pentacles there. This is about building it and being really good at your creative energy, all right? That's how we do it. That creative energy actually is a really great energy to come forward at this card right here. Actually, tomorrow I'm starting off a new series on the Empowered Spirit Show all about creativity in the spirit. Perfect card for this. How can the spirit be empowered by creativity? And how can you empower your spirit with creativity? It's a cycle of energy. We're going to be talking about that. I've got a great series lined up for the next several weeks. That'll be tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. My guest is a very creative woman, Melissa Scott. She has a brand new book out and how she's using her creativity to stand strong. She's tougher than she ever thought she was in her new book, White Girl in Yoga Pants. Yes, it's launching this week, and I'm so excited to have her on the show tomorrow. So we will be talking more about this card and about all of this energy, especially that creative force coming forward. That's how we do it, folks. That's how we live our purpose, and that's how we get out there and stand strong in who we are. The systems are dying, right? They're being torn up. They're being blown away. They're being flooded. So we must stand in that energy. We really must, all right? Give me a thumbs up if you know what I mean. Tell me yes. Let me know if you need some help. Finding that creative ability, finding that spirit within you. I can help you with that. All right. Take a nice deep inhale. Love these cards. Yep. I think somebody commented before. I love them too. They really get into the shadows and lights. We need them both ways. We need to look at both sides right now, right? It can't always be in that positive energy. We have to look underneath right now and build that force. Connect to each other. That's exactly what this energy will be about this week. We're going to see it. We're going to start off a little crazy tomorrow with all the weather. All this energy is coming forward. It stirs it up. It brings it out. It really does. So ground. Find some grounding stones. Some dravite tourmaline, maybe. Black tourmaline. Hematite. Something. Garnet something. And just keep them in your pockets and stay grounded. Continually ground your house. Go back to the beginning if you missed the meditation. Put an energy of protection around you and all your loved ones. Stay safe. And focus your energy, all right? So let's just close by bringing our energies together and returning to that feeling of being grounded on the earth. Feel your feet connecting. Good. So join me tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, 12 Central Time with Melissa Scott. I have a Reiki class coming up next week. I still have spots. You can find that on my website, naturalforcesstudio.com. The 21st, I'm going to be at Trim Tab. So come by. We're doing a fundraiser for Sweet Home Alabama. I'll be reading cards, dollar a minute, all proceeds going to Sweet Home Alabama. Saturday the 23rd kicks off our Vulcan, our Global Mala presentation. I'll be up there as well. And then on the next day, Sunday, I'll be at Lifetime for the Namaste doing sound bowls. So come on out. Come find me. Let's do some readings. Be safe. Be smart. Keep that protection around you. Reach out for each other. Take a nice deep inhale and empower your spirit. Find that creative force. Let that stuff go. Be strong in who you are. Be strong in your spiritual practice and let that light shine. Be the hermit right now. Thank you guys for joining me. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook where comments are being really active lately talking about all this energy. Thanks for joining me. Share this with someone that might need the meditation. To your spirit. Namaste.